What's up, Copy Squad? It's your boy, Kyle Milligan of KyleTheWriter.com, coming to you live from Baltimore, Maryland. And today we're going to talk about the best copy versus good copywriting. There's one key ingredient that I think is overlooked, underplayed, or completely just unknown or unheard of before. So we're talking about the key ingredient that separates the best copy from good copy. And I think I'll go ahead and just introduce this book that gave me the idea. The book is called The Ferocious Copywriter Manifesto, and this is by our very own Brian McGrath. He's a copy chief at Agora Financial. So uh, there's one piece of piece that he puts in here. It's a really short read about being a ferocious copywriter, and it really just means like going for the throat, like really revving up like your emotion. And I think that's the thing that really resonates with me is that he's like, no, dude, this is an emotional sell, right? So I've got a book, my own book out, it's called Take Their Money. It's about the big four emotions. And the reason that that book is so important and its message is important is because it takes you out of that mindset of how to write copy, right? Like I always say, we're not putting together a piece of furniture. We're trying to trigger very specific emotions. And the thing about it, and this is going to lead into my topic, what separates the best copy from good copy is that emotional trigger, but there's something even more specific I'm going to talk about. If you're interested in learning about how to trigger these emotions, new, easy, safe, and big, and these are critical to selling basically anything, you can go to kylethewriter.com forward slash book and check out my book, Take Their Money. Now I'm going to read a passage from this book to you. And it says, John Carlton always used to say that great copy should scare a client. And then dot, 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 scrolling on down, Ryan writes, the implications of it are almost frightening because it's going to reach so many people and push so many buttons that people are going to freak out. But at the same time, we feel if those buttons are pushed correctly, it's going to generate maybe tens of millions of dollars. And that is basically the central selling point of my personal book, Take Their Money, is that the writing should be an emotional button push. So what's the difference between the, the best copywriting and good copywriting? The, the one original title I had for this is who your copywriting should truly scare. It shouldn't be that you shouldn't be like frightening the customer into pooping their pants. I mean, maybe if you're writing a fear-based advertisement or something, you should. I don't know. But your client should actually be a little bit nervous. Whenever you put copy in front of them, and I'll explain exactly why, it has to do with the big four emotions. So Ryan wrote that you're going to push so many buttons that it's going to freak people out. But you have to push buttons and you have to freak people out to get them to emotionally buy into what you're selling. So whenever you bring a piece of copy to a client, and a lot of you guys are freelancers, I'd say it's like almost like 50-50 and like split up between freelancers or, or newbies trying to get into copywriting and like internet marketers who are looking for like new angles and new ways to approach copywriting itself. But speaking firsthand, when I started to write my own sales letter and put my name on it, the promises that I was making and I was using new, easy, safe, and big, it startles you as a person with your name on it. So whenever you write something up for your client and you hit the emotions of new, easy, safe, and big, the customer reading it on the other side is going to get emotionally revved up. They are going to get charged because you have made a big promise, right? A big promise is like you've, you've committed that they're going to experience something brand new, and then you've made like a big promise on that, and then it's going to be easy, incredible. It's like, so you basically checked off a, you know, it's new, easy, safe, and big. So you've got a new approach that's going to change their life. It's really easy for them to accomplish this change if they follow the steps or whatever, and that it comes from a credible source, the, the guru or the, or the brand that you're selling from. And that will startle the person a little bit, the client, especially if they're not used to being like, if they're, for instance, if, if you're selling like financial newsletters, right? If you're selling financial newsletters, you've got this guy who's used to going on like CNBC or Business Insider or something like that and speaking very factually about stocks. He's not used to playing these emotional buttons in people to get them riled up about the stock market. So when you put that cop in front of him, it should actually startle him a little bit. Like, whoa. Like, again, he's used to reporting dry facts. So it's not a language that he's used to speaking. Many people aren't used to speaking. Even people who call themselves copywriters are not truly speaking the language of copy. 
Like they think they understand copywriting because they've read it before and they see that it's written like a simple third to fifth grade, not third, third so low, like fifth or sixth grade writing level. And they're like, okay, I get it. You write short, punchy sentences that sound really exciting. But no, it's not until you actually trigger these big four emotions and you start pushing buttons that people get riled up. And it is that sort of commitment or obligation. I'm trying to think of this. Like when your name is on the line and you know people have expectations, okay? That's the, that's the risk of it for the client. It's like, whoa, this is a big promise. And it has to be a big promise to compel people to buy stuff. You have this good copy is again best copy is separated from good copy by making sure it has a big promise that also is new it's easy it's safe and it's a big promise okay so whenever it gets in front of a client especially someone who's in a dry marketplace something like financial uh, investments and stuff like that uh, it, it should startle them a little bit but yeah the difference between like good copywriting and bad copywriting is it's really going for the throat is what, what I want to say it's about writing copy that's so bold that it scares the client. <laughs> Your copy needs to be bold because you're going for the throat. You're going for emotions that get people riled up. You're going for something that makes someone super excited, right? And ready to do something like spend their hard earned cash. And if you don't write to something that extreme, you will not get results. You will blend in. You will just be another face in the crowd. Like, just a just a large amount of like liking and trust generally doesn't get you there. You usually need a compelling bump to make someone pull out their wallet or their credit card. It just takes that sometimes a little bit extra, but really what it just takes is that you go for these specific emotions that I outline in my book at kylewriter.com forward slash book. It's called Take Their Money. It'll teach you the secret language of copywriting, which is communicated in the subtext of the words written on the page. That's all I got for today, Copy Squad. Thanks so much for tuning in. Signing off now. Peace out.